Charred remains seen for miles in the state of Texas. Dry conditions and high winds have been ripe for wildfire. Fortunately, some helping hands in Texas right now are from Utah. I caught up with fire crews today. They tell me that they're not only there to help put out fires and work to save communities, but to bring some of their experiences home. Here in South, South Texas, we don't get the topographical influences. So we, everything's just wind driven. We're anticipating highs in the 90s, 95 area with winds uh, gusting around 20 miles an hour. Local fire districts from Utah are well represented in the Lone Star State right now, working on wildfires that just won't quit. This is a good, in, in a roundabout way, kind of a trial run to where we can come back home, reset the truck, move some stuff, and kind of prepare ourselves to get ready for when our season finally starts back to Utah. Both Lone Peak Fire District and Weber Fire District have crews working alongside local departments, something that could come full circle this upcoming summer. Other uh, agencies, other resources need help. We go out, we help them. Uh, same thing with us back home. If we need help, we, we reach out and uh, people come and help us. It's nice because there is a large but tight community uh, in wildland. We'll find these guys on another fire somewhere else and it'll be like we never left their station. It's the communities, the residents themselves, who have shown their support for Utahns fighting the good fight in Texas. If we didn't have support back home, this would be real hard for us to do. But we're here as a crew, we're here as, as our own little family, and uh, we take care of each other from the time we leave Utah to the time we come back.